Hey everyone, so today we're going to be reviewing the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream. Um, one of the reasons why I'm doing so many reviews on Makeup Forever is because I already have it here in my kit. I'm not having to go out and buy it, which oftentimes I'm doing when I do reviews, because I already use these products. So that's the main reason. Also because when you're laying down money for products that are higher end, like MAC or Makeup Forever or Illamasqua, NARS, oftentimes it's good to see a review on them because then you know what you're really getting. And I bought all these myself, so it's an honest um, review. Nothing was given me for free. I'll show you the colors and then I'll give you my final thoughts. The first shade is number one and it's a gray. And all these shades contain shimmer unless I state otherwise. We've got number two, which is a lighter version of that gray. We've got number three, which is a silver. And this is a really, really nice, a nice sort of silver color to have. Number three is, uh, number four, sorry, is a uh, iridescent white, and you can see it's really, really shiny. Number five is a light peachy color, and this is an absolute knockoff for NARS Orgasm. Okay, number six is a, a matte pink. Number seven is like a very bright fuchsia pink. Number eight is a red, and this color is great on the lips. Really, really good on the lips. You're gonna need a lip gloss with it though, because it's quite dry. We've got a matte shade here, which is number nine, and it's like a sort of a peachy color. And you can see swatches online. I'll post you a place where you can do it. Number 10 is an orange. Now, number 10, paired with number eight, the red one over the lips, then number 10 in the middle, Gonna look amazing. Number 11 is a gold. We've got number 12, which is a sort of a deeper, uh, a deeper gold shade. We've got number 13, which is a very, very sort of shiny, metallic-y, sort of light taupe or taupe. We've got number 14, which is a brown, and this is contains shimmer as well. And it's a great color. Got number 16 here. You see that? And this is sort of like a very sort of light brown, goldy brown. We've got number 17, which is one of my favorites. And it's like a burgundy color. And it looks amazing put on the outside corner of the eye. These products can be used for eyes, lips, and cheeks. We've got a lilac color here at number 18. And you've got this bit of glare here from the screen, but you know, this is a lilac color, but again, you can see the swatches. I'll show you them place to go. Number 19, which is a very, very vivid purple. And the last three are number 20, which is a very midnight blue, really strong color. A lighter sort of turquoisey blue, number 21. And last but not least, a forest green at number 22. So my thoughts on these are, they are absolutely waterproof. They stay on and they do not crease. If you've got a normal eye, and when I say normal eye, that means that you can see the lid from the outside corner all the way to the end, then you could just put one of these on your lid and put some mascara on and it's gonna stay there all day long. Another way you can use them, which is what I've done in a recent tutorial, is I've applied a really light shade. I think it was shade 13. I've applied it from lash line all the way up to the eyebrow. And then I've applied that burgundy color on the outside, number 17. And then I put matte, a light matte eyeshadow all over the inner corner and by the eyebrow and a sort of cranberry color from the outside corner going over that burgundy. The whole look becomes pretty much all matte, but the eyeshadow stays on really, really well, which is why I absolutely love these. I would like to see another 10 shades from Makeup Forever, preferably matte shades in the brown family because these are very, very easy to work with, but I'd like to see some more matte shades so you could really do some more eyeshadow work. They can be used on the eyes, as I mentioned. They can be used on the cheeks, which looks really, really beautiful and it stays put. And to further sort of promote the um, longevity of it, you could then put a powder eyeshadow over it, um, a powder blusher over it, and it would really sort of stay put for most of the day. So these are good for weddings or if you're going out dancing. They can also be used on the lip as well as lipsticks. They're very creamy, the products, but dry at the same time, if that makes sense. But they do stay on the lips, but you're definitely, definitely gonna wanna put a lip gloss on it because 
the texture will become very dry. It's going to feel very dry. If you've got um, your lips are aging or they're very dry, not a good idea to put these on your lips because it's just going to exasperate that. Like I said, I wouldn't have bought these if I didn't like them, so I do like them. I'm really pleased with the shade range and I really think you're going to like the tutorial I did where I use these as a base. Um, if, if there were more matte shades, you could definitely use these to do eyeshadow looks with where you're bringing it up more here in the crease of the eye. But because most of them are shimmer, it's a little bit too much shimmer to sort of bring it up really high. But like I said, just putting it on the lid with some black mascara is going to look absolutely amazing. <clears throat> I think that these are... You get around about six grams, I think, in here. You do, you get six grams. And I think for the price, they are quite pricey. But for something that's this waterproof, that really does last, and I haven't seen it crease yet, I think it's definitely, definitely worth the money. You obviously won't want to get all of these, probably. Pick the shades that you like the best and experiment with them. They really do make a good eye base. Some of you are probably gonna ask if they're better or worse than sort of MAC paint pots. They're better in terms that they're completely waterproof. They're also incredibly opaque, so they cover everything. But bear in mind, if you're not a big fan of massive amounts of shimmer, you can tone these down with a matte eyeshadow over them and it's gonna look great, which is what I do most of the time. I tend to put them on, I know they're gonna stay in place. Then I put an eyeshadow over them. It blends really nicely. It also eliminates a huge amount of the fallout that um, tends to happen with eyeshadows. I don't really know why, I guess because it's got something to adhere to a bit better. Just all around great products. Like I said, if I didn't like them, I wouldn't have bought them. And I tried them out beforehand, so I really knew that I liked them. So there you go, quick review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.